tactical gameplay. Spaghetti Western stealth and strategy. Fun. Fun, of course, fun. Yeah. Most important <laughs> one, yeah. When I was a child, this was like, this was huge. This was something where we like, who are those people making those games? How is this possible? <laughs> and you like, Shadow Tactics and Desperados, that was obviously something that was inspired from those classic games that I loved to play as a child. And there was nobody doing them anymore, so it was just kind of an urge to play those games. And then you get the chance to like make a sequel, or in this case, a prequel. That's just amazing. It's, yeah, still a bit strange. <laughs> in the beginning, we never thought we could make such a like large scale game, and we even tried to make like a mobile version so that there's like anything on the market. But uh, in the end, we even got a budget for like a complete uh, PC console game, which is the blast. No, it was a blast, and now again. So it was really the urge to bring this back because I wanted to play it. And then we said, okay, this process has to be bigger. Better animations, better visuals, realistic visuals, more enemy types, dogs. We need dogs for some reason. We need cats. And <laughs> it got bigger and bigger, but we still managed to, to achieve a wonderful product, I, I would say. And that's, that's really something I'm proud of, we are proud of. It, it was like a few months ago when I when I had the chance to like really play it for the first time in a long time. You know, you work on on stuff and you have your own little corner, in, in my case writing, and you very rarely get the chance to see like the whole thing. There are points where you ask yourself, is it worth it to you know improve on every edge? And then when everything comes together, especially I look a lot at the cutscenes and everything when you see all the writing iterations, all the 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 stress on the mocap stage with all the actors and then you see everything coming together with music and sound effects and you're like okay it's really good <laughs> i like it it's 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 a huge thing and and it works and you see like every step was worth the the struggle and the and the work what i like most about the game is that players can usually play it the way they want to like there is a lot of agency they have Sometimes people think that it's only solvable in one way. So there's only one solution, but that's never true. There's always many, many solutions in the game. It's very hard for us to build something that has only one solution because the design around it is very open. So we can, players can experiment a lot with it. And I think that's what I think is the best thing about the game design. I mainly work on the AI and there are lots of uh, features that were added in this game and um, expanded on and it was interesting to work on these features to, to support the vision of the design team and help them make the, the game more, uh, yeah, more fun to play, basically. The newest thing are Mainly Voodoo, or the Voodoo character, Isabel Moreau. She has a very unique skill set that allows you to connect player characters or basically anything in the game. And it allows you to mind control uh, other characters or animals or whatever you can find in the game. That is very unique in, in gameplay and it opens up a lot of possibilities and new things for us to think about what we could do with it. And the other thing that is new and I like a lot is the gun gameplay, actually. Because in our previous game, Shadow Tactics guns were just a small part because you were playing ninjas, they were not needed. But in a Western game, you need guns and you need sort of shootouts. But what we didn't want to have was action sequences. We found a way, I think, to make the guns strong and to allow you to sometimes engage in a gunfight, but not do it all the time. And you always have to stealth in between. It's not a shooter. It's, it's not something where you just uh, go around, uh, kill people all the time. Although actually, when I think about it, we do kill a lot of people in the game. You can, if something goes wrong, then just pull out your guns. And I think that worked out quite well. And it's different from how the old games handled it. Because in the old games, you could just start shooting and you just the whole map started running towards you and you just killed everyone and then the mission was done. And that's not possible in our game because we balanced that a little bit. This is 
is my first job right out of university and I came here and started working uh, right around the time when we started working on Desperados and all the work these amazing people had already done and trying to be a part of that and to fit in there it was extremely overwhelming but also really really cool. I think one of the most amazing things is that everyone intrinsically knows that all the people around you all just want to make this game and actually make it be the best that's possible like it's a given and you don't have to doubt anyone else. So when there's arguments about what needs to be done or somebody having a different opinion, it never gets personal because everybody knows that everyone wants like the best for the game. And I mean, <laughs> there's shouting and stuff, but in the end, everybody's always sure that nobody has any bad intentions and then we can joke about most of the things. And that's really great. Like being able to talk openly about actually everything, I guess. Also being free to say when you don't like something because everybody else knows that you're just doing it because you want the game to be the best it is. No, we're going to try something new with Desperados and hope that keeps up to the expectations of the players from Desperados 1. Do go on. <laughs>